Hey guys, it's uh, 5.45 in the morning. Um, figured I'd take you in a nice little behind the scenes on what it's like to, to cover the NHL for real for a day. Um, long days in the NHL. i got the morning skate coming up at 10.30, heading to uh, Madison Square Garden today. So, uh, got my old buddy Mountain Dew over here to get me going for the day. And uh, yeah, leave about uh, 8 o'clock. Take an 8.45 train, get to the city about 10.15, get there for the skate at 10.30, and I uh, guess we'll pick it up from there. Or maybe we'll take you on the train. Well, it's not the most exciting part of my day, but it is a necessary one. I've made it here to the lovely train station in Bridgewater, New Jersey, my home base. And uh, yeah, time to get tickets for the train, which will leave in about 20 minutes. And as you can see behind me, There, over there, is uh, the ballpark where the Somerset Patriots play, and uh, I've covered games there for the past 11 years is where I got my start. And without there, uh, I would not be able to be in a position to get to do stuff like this. So, always nice to uh, get a little reminder of where I started and where I'm still at, actually. And uh, yeah, time to take a nice hour and a half train ride to the city, and time to cover the New York Rangers. <laughs> So here's why the early mornings are worth it. It's about 10.30 in the morning. The Rangers' very optional morning skate has just started. And I'm walking around Madison Square Garden by myself, kind of like I own the place. I don't, because I don't have that kind of money. But if I did, I'd probably own this place. Um, but honestly, as a kid, I never thought I'd get to, to do stuff like this. So it's very cool, and it makes it all worth it. So all right, here's the part about covering the NHL that isn't so great. There's a lot of downtime between the morning skate and the game. It's about 12.30 right now. I just finished up uh, sending in my story. Uh, I got a nice one-on-one -on -one interview with Chris Kreider. Thank you to the Rangers for that. They did not have to do that for me. It was a very weird day with how the skate was working out. Um, but anyway, you've got about six and a half hours to kill between the... As I tried to not get run over on the street. Uh, between the morning skate and the game. And for me, it's not really worth it to go back home. Time-wise, money-wise, it really makes no sense. So. Uh, whatever city I'm in, I have to kill a lot of time. And right now, I am uh, heading out for lunch. And then I've got about a good three or four hours to just kind of do not a whole lot of stuff and catch up on stuff and catch up on other work. So we'll see how that goes. And uh, time to go eat some lunch. Well, all right. Maybe the downtime is not such a bad Okay, so now that I'm inside, I can probably uh, be a little bit more coherent and not worrying about getting rained on and or smashed into by people on the sidewalk with their umbrellas. Um, this is lunch. It's at the Olive Garden. Uh, kind of defeats the purpose of eating in the city because you've got about 20,000 options and I'm eating at the Olive Garden. I've got gift cards. So, um, seems like a thing that I should do. So, anyway. Yeah, this is, uh, this is what I end up doing uh, in my, my lunchtime break, and then I'll go back to the rink and uh, kill some time and then catch up on some work that I need to for sure and uh, kind of take it from there. So I'll talk to y'all again when I get back to the rink, which will probably be about uh, 2 o'clock. Maybe I'll catch a movie or something. I'll kind of need to stay awake. Um, it's around this time, really, uh, where I start to hit a bit of a wall, so that lunch uh, and the, the caffeine that comes with the lunch and all that stuff is a really good energy boost and very much so needed as well, so I don't know if Olive Garden's ever needed, but uh, that's where we're at, kids, so uh, I will figure out the rest of my day and I'll take y'all along with me as well. So, alright, the whole point of this whole video was to show you what a typical day covering the NHL is like. Typical day. Normal day, not a whole lot of exciting happens. Yeah, then sometimes you get Letterman tickets. Oh well, guess I'll deal. So alright. 
Here is one of the fun parts of the job. It's about 6.30, 6.35, something like that. Warm-ups are just starting. This is when I get to go down by the glass and act all fancy and flash my press pass to go to places that a paying customer can't go, which doesn't seem fair, and take some pretty cool pictures. So uh, I'm going to go do that. Later, kids. <sighs> Been up for a while. Uh, pretty much just want to go home. So, uh, yeah. On the train back, not that you can really get any sort of view or anything, but uh, on the train back out of the city and heading home, and uh, can't wait to sleep. Sometimes everything goes right, and you get to go home when you want, and get to get as much sleep as you want. Other times, NJ Transit sucks, and the train is an hour late, and you can't get home on time. So that happens. So I'll be getting home at about uh, 12.30 instead of 11.30. We'll be uh, excited about that. And um, yeah, let's make my day longer. Yay! Definitely can't wait to uh, spend more time at Newark Penn Station. Love it here. It's 12.25 uh, in the morning. Just got home. Um, Long day, long day. Days in the NHL are not short. Um, I got to do it all over again on uh, on Thursday and Saturday and Sunday and Tuesday. But I uh, wouldn't have it any other way. This is what I want to do and do what I signed up for. So, um, so that's a day in the NHL. Not as glammy as uh, you might have thought. Um, but. Uh, like I said, all in all, there's no place I'd rather be. So, hope you guys enjoyed that. Maybe I'll do something different uh, for another video to kind of take you behind the scenes a little bit and what it's uh, it's really like to do this stuff. And uh, I guess I'll talk to you soon.